These documentaries impacted the world in a big way, and we're going to find out why on today's BFD. Today we're joined by Alonzo Duraldi, film critic of TheRap.com. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. He is here to tell us about his favorite documentaries and those documentaries specifically uh, that are the most impactful or that have changed the world. Let's just get right into it. What sure. do you have for us uh, today? Uh, well, a personal favorite of mine, The Times of Harvey Milk. Uh, this is a movie about Harvey Milk, the slain San Francisco City Supervisor. It was a big deal because he was one of, if not the first openly gay elected official in the United States. And to have the assassination happen while it was going on obviously changed the, the whole tone of the film and what it was about. Without that movie, we wouldn't know Harvey Milk the way that we know him now, and, and he wouldn't have had that ongoing impact that he's had in so many facets of American life. For me, it's so much more compelling than, um, than the Sean Penn sort of narrative movie, mm. uh, Milk. Do you think a documentary is more powerful than narratives that are sort of inspired by actual events? If somebody is interesting enough to warrant having a film made about them, they themselves are so charismatic and so fascinating that once you've seen them on camera, anything else is going to be sort of a pale imitation. Next up, what do we have uh, in our countdown? Uh, well, uh, Morgan Spurlock supersized me, initiated a conversation that's still ongoing in this country about what are we eating and where does it come from and what's it doing to us. And, you know, he uses humor and he kind of makes himself into the subject of the documentary yeah. in an interesting way. But at the same time, it's not 90 minutes of him eating Big Macs and throwing up. It's also, you know, talking about the farm to market system, talking about uh, school lunches and so many other topics that feed into the, the overall idea about nutrition in this country. And then finally, uh, bring us to the number one on your list of uh, powerful documentaries. Yeah, I would have to go with uh, Errol Morris's The Thin Blue Line. You can sort of directly draw a line of, well, this movie got this guy off of death row. Bam. It was a very controversial movie at the time, not just for its subject matter, but because Morris chose to recreate a lot of the things that happened in the film. And at the time, a lot of documentary filmmakers were horrified. Like, oh no, you can't, that, that's not pure documentary filmmaking. You know, you're staging it, you're creating this thing. And now, of course, I think it, it's become very standard to sort of recreate events that, that weren't or couldn't be captured on film. Is there a common thread in those films besides them being your favorites? <laughs> um, well, you know, I think they're all in a sense sort of public advocacy documentaries. You know, they aren't... Uh, oh, this is my relationship with my father movies. These are, here's a thing in the world, somebody needs to do something about it, and, and you know, here's everything that you need to know. You may never get to travel to a, a tribe in Africa or a Russian prison or Antarctica, <laughs> but you can see it in a documentary, and it's not the same as being there, but at least it gives you some tangible idea of, okay, these are people that exist, and this is a way that lives are led, and it's harder to think of something as this abstract other once you have have been not only just shown its existence, but brought into it uh, in a story, in a way that is compelling, in a way that makes you care about what's going to happen next for these people. And that, I think, is the real power that documentaries always have to, to change people's minds and to, to change the world we live in. Thank you so much for your time, Alonzo. Really appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Yes, indeed. So leave a comment telling us which documentaries have affected you the most. And put the power of documentaries to work by checking out A Place at the Table and take your place in the fight against hunger. For BFD, I'm David Park. Make sure you subscribe.